but he has been very comfortable here in the castle. Mark trying to shed everybody, but picked off. Cannon with a bounce to Padula, back to Mott, he'll lay it in. After Shea Stadium, all the damage he did in there. Mutz backdoor cut, boy, they run that play perfectly, Collins. But oftentimes they have to call their own number. 6'7", senior, a superb passer, Beekman in traffic, and catches the iron and drops in. Beekman finds Gardner on the spin. McNeely will launch a long one, and Padula thought about it. Penetration, yes, all the way to the cup. His 2.3 three-point field goals a game helps them on the offensive end of the floor. So they, oh, he found himself a lane. They have to have this one. Bazzilli finding the open muts on the cut and the stuff. Basketball, so they need to heat it up. In the lane, Gardner, yes. Bazzilli will give it up. On the drive, Couture harassed and knocked away. Great D there by the Cavaliers. Gardner calling for the ball, will lay it in. And they've been able to do it with a couple of timely stops. Off the switch, Justin Mutt going to the post area. Here's Franklin. Franklin, nice dish for Gardner, and one, he'll be at the line. Working on Kihei Clark. On the spin, yes, and one. At three and eight in ACC, they could very easily be eight and three. Couture, way down top. Oh. Beekman going one-on-one -on -one with Couture, gives it up, Clark. Here it comes, got it. Beekman. With a quick step, leaning in, and it rolls home. Mutz working on a 17-point game. They want Bazzilli in close, and a reverse. Mike Young's going to get Padula back in, and that one is right. And the Hokies win it by a final score of 74-68. to 68. Virginia's seven-game winning streak is history.